Hey all the tech geeks, all the coders out there, this is Ozan Innovative Coder and today we'll be learning how you can use Docker efficiently and easily without any problem. So for this purpose I'll be using this GitHub repo which is on my GitHub page, Docker Made Easy. I'll be putting the link in the description down below, you can check it out from there. So uh, firstly, uh, firstly you have to open your terminal and uh, so I'll be not going into the all the details that what docker is uh, if you are watching this tutorial I know that you must be knowing that uh, docker is, is, a, is a used to con is used for containerization and all of that stuff uh, I'll won't be stepping into the uh, into the definition and uh, theoretical knowledge of what docker is and how why is it used and all of that stuff but I'll be giving you a technical overview and technical step-by-step uh, uh, -step guide for using the docker and using and pulling the images and making your own docker files so that you can use the docker efficiently and easily so um, for my experience of docker learning i have listed all the commands and uh, uh, which i which i uh, i have encountered useful uh, in real life while using the docker uh, so i'll be telling you those commands so first of all uh, you need to download the docker i assume that you must be able to download it by yourselves and uh, then you have to uh, use these commands so for running uh, for running an, uh, your first image so pull your first image you can use docker pull uh, then you can so it's like uh, over here so you can so I haven't listed that command yeah so here so you can use docker pull uh, so here it is written, written JC demo slash flask cap, but you as a as your first image you can pull Alpine image which is a very basic image of uh, uh, Linux. You can use uh, that image because it is also very uh, small in size and small in MB and it will fetch very easily. So you can use Docker pull Alpine, and for running it you can use Docker run Alpine. Uh, for using for seeing all the images for checking the details of all images in your uh, terminal or in your docker you can use docker image images and for uh, running or uh, listing all the containers that are running that are currently running in your uh, docker you can use docker ps hyphen a to stop this alpine image you can use docker stop alpine uh, right if you are using the image and you need to stop that image you can use docker run alpine and uh, so uh, I think I'll be giving a hands-on tutorial also. So I open my terminal. Uh, I think I should uh, resize it. So yeah, I think now it is visible. So uh, I'm not running my Docker. Uh, firstly, I'll go here and run the Docker. So in my, in my, yeah, so Docker is running. Docker is starting, it is connecting to my Docker. Yeah and okay so just start yeah it is getting started okay so a new version i'll i think i'll update it later right so what i'll do is docker and then you can use docker help to list all the commands and their use cases you can do that right so firstly i'll use docker image docker and image images and it will list all the images which I have I will resize it so that you can see it more efficiently and here it is docker images so all the, the these are all the images which I have downloaded and I have pulled it from the um, docker hub so uh, also guys you have to set up your account on docker hub so there's a link I have provided on my github page you can github repo you can uh, uh, you can set up your account over there then so these are the images which I currently have on my uh, docker then then I will do docker ps-a to list all the running docker images so I have a lot of running images on my uh, Mac right currently uh, actually I don't stop them I use them to and fro very frequently so th these are the things and so if you wanna if you wanna remove uh, any uh, any of the image you just need to do docker kill and the name of the container 
uh, for uh, re for removing an image you need to do docker rmi which is remove image and then the image name to force remove if you have like so sometimes it shows an error of uh, that you have another container uh, inside of one container then you can do docker rmi hyphen f uh, and then the image name so hyphen f uh, is included in the command line so that 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 tells us that this is the the force removal of an image so if you want to make your own docker file uh, like if you have an app or a website on github and you need to compile it uh, via uh, docker then you can also do that uh, this is basically uh, used for devops when you need to automate something uh, yeah so to do do so you have to make your own docker file and to make your docker file you have a there is there is a set pattern so it's like if you have uh, the if you have your code built in python so i have taken an example of uh, python only so you have to do from python 3.6 which is the latest version of python and you, you just need to specify the python uh, that there's that you are li using the library you are using language python and then the version of uh, uh, that um, that language then there is maintainer. Maintainer is your name. The the main the the it is just like a signature. So and then expose. Expose is expose uh, is what uh, the uh, is. Expose just uses the port which uh, you need to specify the port which you want to use. So here I am using eight thousand. Then you need to install the dependencies. So uh, here uh, I have put hashtag. I haven't uh, specified in any dependencies over here, but you can uh, specify like if you want to do anything. Uh, so for installing dependencies, what I have done is you can uh, do step by step process, or uh, you can just do like what I have done. Uh, you ha you just need to copy the requirements.txt file. Like uh, if you if if you have any requirements.txt file in your GitHub repo, then you can do that. Uh, just copy that into another requirements.txt, which would be for this Docker file. Uh, then run pip install uh, hyphen r requirements.txt so uh, what it will do it uh, would be that it, uh, it would run all the uh, requirements.txt one by one so uh, pip install we have done as we are using python uh, then you can run the code using cmd so cmd python3 then the file name uh, so instead of file name write uh, the name of file you want to compile uh, and above code is uh, based on the is based on python language that, that's why i have compiled it uh, via python3 uh, for uh, using for building this uh, docker file what you need to do is just do uh, docker build docker uh, underscore so the name of my docker file here is docker underscore uh, and if you want to use any another image uh, from uh, docker hub say example we have jc demo slash flask app if you need to do uh, if you need to use this image uh, for using flask uh, then you have to use docker pull jc demo slash flask app so uh, I, I think i very frequently use kali as a as my docker image so i can uh, make you guys see that thing so i have docker then images oh i misspell it images uh -huh. yeah images and then i can do docker run hyphen it and i won't specify any port over here i will just use it like that only and then my image id so it's like that yeah and i am very much into the root you can see over here so this is how you can use uh, any docker image just pull that image and just use docker run hyphen it and that image id and you are very good very much good to go so this was this was all for this tutorial uh, and thanks if you like the video then do hit the like button subscribe to my channel and please comment all your queries if you have any and follow me on instagram i put a lot of interesting stuff over there